Mari and Kelly and I are back with another challenge this week. This week we're using this gorgeous mood board from Pinterest and I chose to focus on that books and coffee phrase that's in this mood board and so I'm going to just be documenting and journaling my love of both books and coffee. Well as luck would have it Paige Evans just came out with this gorgeous collection called Oh My Heart and it has this the collection has this book paper and I absolutely love this paper I'm thinking I probably should have bought more than one sheet because I really like the other side of it too which is kind of a purple stripe and so I'm going to use part of this paper for my layout as a little bit of a border around two sides of a piece of white cardstock so I'm going to just take my cards my white cardstock and size it down a little bit and then I'm just going to, you'll see that I will um, line it up on that book patterned paper. And I'm just going to make some little marks there to, so that I can see where my white paper is going to be. And I'm just going to rough cut that with my scissors. I don't want to uh, waste that large chunk of this paper because it's gorgeous. So I just cut that out and left a little bit of an edge enough around there just so that I can um, adhere my white cardstock onto that, um, creating sort of an even uh, edge on those two sides. So I'm just going to stick that down on those two edges to that book pattern paper. And I love the titles that are on that book paper, like Jane Eyre. Oh, so cool. And there's lots of others too, Sense and Sensibility, Black Beauty, Little Women, and so on. <laughs> lots of classics. I love that book paper. Anyway, um, so now I'm just going to take some gelatos. And I have actually primed my paper with some gesso here so that my gelatos are going to move quite nicely. And I'm actually going to just take a baby wipe and I'm going to um, just move that, move those gelatos around with my baby wipe. And I forgot to mention that I did do some sewing around the two sides of that white cardstock as well, um, in between the white cardstock and the book paper. Just to add a little bit of extra detail to that, it just makes it look a little bit just a little bit of an extra texture and detail there. So I'm just taking a bunch of different colors that are complement complementary to the colors that are in that book paper. And I'm just smudging them around here with my wipe. And I'm just going to do that a little bit at the top and the bottom of this paper. And you can't go wrong with these gelatos over top of the um, gesso because it is so forgiving and if you wanted you could completely wipe it all off again and start over if you didn't like it so very very easy to do just put it on there and move it around a little bit just so that uh, it looks the way that you want it to and it's not difficult to use super easy so there you can see that's added just a little bit of color and detail to my white cardstock now i'm going to just take a little stamp set that i have that I got as a freebie in an order from Simon Says Stamp. And these are just some really cute little coffee beans. And I'm going to put those on here with my stamp block and some VersaFine ink in, hmm, I think it's called Vintage Sepia or Sepia, however you want to pronounce that. I just like the looks of those little coffee beans dancing across the bottom of the paper. I think they're super cute and they definitely obviously go with the coffee theme here that I'm working on. So I'm just going to give that a little help drying and now I'm going to take the, another piece of the uh, take me not take me away. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> oh my heart collection and this one has the kind of a watercolor look with a little bit of a tiny dot behind it and it definitely goes well with the gelatos that I have already on the paper. And so I'm just going to take my ruler here and I want kind of a rough edge on there. And I just think that looks a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to get that ripped up. And then I'm actually going to save two of those little strips and use them along the bottom of that same paper. So I'm just going to take a look at that and see how I like that with my photograph, which is just a picture of me with a book and my coffee. So I really like the, the triangles that are on the other side of that um, 
watercolory paper and I just think that they just add a little bit of cool detail to either side of that paper so I'm going to just border that with it and I'm also going to back my photo with that as well and I've got a little piece of tissue paper behind my photograph just to give it a little bit of extra texture behind there as well and just kind of looking at a couple of other things that I have taken out of that collection um, oh my heart from <clears throat> from Paige Evans so I actually got quite a bit of this collection and it is gorgeous um, this collection and the new dear Lizzie collection I think are my two favorites from CHA and uh, so I'm just really mostly working with the oh my heart collection for this layout the colors are so pretty and the pattern papers are so much fun lots of really cute patterns to work with so I'm just flipping through there. I'm thinking I want another piece of paper from this collection for a um, photo mat. And I really love this orange with a little pink dot on it. So I'm going to use this for my photo mat as well. So you'll just see me take that. I'm going to just measure that using my photograph to help me a little bit there just so that I know how much I want over top of that watercolor paper. And just going to move it around a little bit here and make some little lines with my pencil so that I know where I want to cut that. Gosh, I think I've been fighting a cold all week. I have the sniffles, but I don't really have a cold. I don't know what's going on. There's so many flu bugs going around right now here where I live. I don't know if it's the same where you are, but I think the kids at school are just dropping like flies. They're, I don't know, five or six missing from every class it seems every day. So there's, I have that orange paper size down just nicely and I am going to mat my photo onto that. So I'll just staple those two layers together and then I will stick my photo on top of that using my ATG. And I like how that looks. And then I just took a piece of, um, and just another die cut from uh, Paige Evans collection there that I'm going to use to journal on. So I'll get some of these layers stuck down. I really like the die cut pack that comes with this collection too. It's got some really neat pieces in it. Like I said, like this journaling piece here, it says heck yes on top and it's bordered with the same pattern um, as uh, the, the little triangle paper there, which is perfect. So, you know, things always just kind of work out sometimes. I didn't realize that that was the border on that on that little die cut until I pulled it out of there. I was looking for something to journal on and I went into the die cut pack and found this and I just thought, oh, well that was meant to be. It's perfect. So I'll just take these other little pieces, these other two little strips, and I will adhere those down to the place that I mentioned before. It's just going to create that little border edge there for my photo mats. And once I've got that stuck down, I just take and I add a little bit of a zigzag stitch to that, just to add a little bit of interesting detail to this. Now, if I'd been super energetic, what, have been, what would have looked really cute is if I had taken my needle and thread and done some stitching around those coffee beans on the bottom. I think that would have looked really super cute, but I did not have time to do that. And I might still add that later. Um, that's something that you can always go back and do when you've got time to do it. And I wanted to get this video up and have it all ready to go. And, um, that was not in the cards for me. <laughs> so change of semester at my school just recently. So I now have, uh, new classes and my one class has 34 kids in it. That's only one of my two classes and I teach them English. So I've got lots of marking this semester. It's keeping me out of trouble that's for sure so now i'm just going to take some of the little uh, bits and pieces also from the doodle bug um, i think it's sugar and cream or cream and sugar collection and i i use that little cup die cut from there and this is a little chipboard sticker from pages collection i'm going to that little book I'm going to stick down and these are some really cute little um they're not puffy stickers. What are they? They're like little acetate stickers of little coffee beans and they are so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. 
Um, that whole collection from Doodlebug is adorable. And so I'll just stick those down in a couple of places. And I've got the thickers from the um, Oh My Heart collection called Sunshine. And that is how I created my title. So my title is Books and Joe. So Joe meaning obviously a cup of Joe, a cup of coffee. And that is going to be about it. So I'm going to show you some close-ups here. Uh, there's some close-up shots coming up here fairly quickly. I'm going to take just a couple of other little bits and pieces from that sticker sheet and add them in here and there. And the collection is going to be, or the, <laughs> the layout is going to be finished. So I'm just going to put another one of those little acetate stickers down there. So really love this collection of pages. It's gorgeous and um, bright colors and so on. It's just lots of fun. And um, I hope you enjoyed my layout today. And make sure you go over and check out Kelly's channel as well. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can see how she interpreted the mood board this week on our challenge. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.